The first step is to place the tie around your neck. Make sure your collar is pulled up. Shift the tie up and down until the short side is at about this length. It may be different depending on the size of your tie and how tall you are. The second step is to cross the long section over the short section, like this. Try to keep the overlapping part as flat as possible to avoid the finished tie from looking messy. For the third step, you must pull the long tie up through the hole you just created and out as shown. Next, you wrap it behind the knot you've created and pull it out on the other side. Throughout this whole process, try to keep the knot compact and flat. To finish off this step, wrap the piece of tie you are holding over the knot and into the hole where your neck is. Make sure to keep it tight. The tie should be backwards at this point. The fourth step is to wrap the tie around the knot so that it looks neat. And then, after that, pull that part back into the neck hole so that it is in front of the knot. For the final step, pull the tie through the front of the knot that you created in step 4. Once you have done this, you've actually finished your Windsor knot. Although you're finished, it probably does not look perfect yet. So adjust the tie by pulling on the tie and squeezing the knot. Pull the tie close to your neck and squeeze the bottom of the knot so that it takes on a triangular shape. Repeatedly tugging on the long piece of the tie will help to shape it. Once you're happy with the finished tie, you have completed it. Thank you for watching the tie tying tutorial. 